Hello everyone, and welcome back to another morning here in Jurassic World Evolution on my fantastic island where we can now sit back, relax, and enjoy watching our Triceratops roam through the fields. Look at how beautiful this is. This is really something if you ask me. Look at this. Yes, eat that fern, eat that fern. Good Triceratops, all right. But we are carrying on right where we left off last time, trying to make sure that we can improve our park. We're not very popular right now, unfortunately. Even though we have amazing Triceratops and Rooster, uh, we have a poor variety of dinos, and I believe they want us to have more of them. We need to improve how many dinosaurs we have. We need to take good care of them. We need to have a larger variety of dinosaurs. It's seems the more of one type we have, the more of a variety penalty you actually get. So I'm going to keep that in mind. But I do think that Rooster actually needs to have a, a new a new companion, if you ask me. Uh, because we only have one of little Rooster, and Rooster needs to have a group of, I think, upwards. Oh, how much was it again? Okay. Rooster, where are you? I want to figure out how big to make your, your flock. No, not Ranger Station. Not Ranger Station. All right. Rooster, there you are. Hello, my dear. Oh, I love the postures. I just really, really do. I love the postures. All right, so ideal ideal group size. Yes, of course, you, you know dinosaurs killed. You're just a tiny little one. Authenticity is only one. Dinosaur ratings, good, good, good. Modifications to attract high modification rating. Uh, more authentic, healthy, highly rated. Okay. Uh, create rare, larger, and more spectacular species to attract a higher base rating from visitors. Got it. But yeah, social group is like 1 to 20. Ideal population is like 1 to 25. So I really want to make sure that Rooster isn't on its own, even though I don't think it will really care. But we're going to try this out. We'll get another one up and going. And let's carry on. We also need to increase a new genome to 60%. Uh, and we need to achieve a facility rating of at least one star. And we have a grand zero stars right now. But I'm thinking I really want to add in somewhere possibly either in here or over here a brand new carnivore that we can really admire. It looks like I can build over in this range, I think. So I want to be very careful about where we go. And no, I am not going to be feeding my herbivores to my carnivores. That is never going to happen if I can help it. But it is important to remember that it's like if you go to, you know, a zoo and they don't have any tigers or lions. That would be kind of odd, wouldn't it? So let's continue our expedition search. Some areas are partially depleted. And I have not unlocked, requires more expedition centers. Oh, I need to get more expedition centers and then I can unlock some new areas, huh? All right, well, we're gonna start an expedition over here. And I think we're gonna look into more expedition centers soon then. And we have a newbie to release. There goes our helicopter for the expeditions. Ooh, nice! Wonderful! A good one, Link to Modern Birds. Off you go, little one. Go and play. Hopefully that'll help our rating somehow a little bit. Or at least help. Yeah, look at that population going up. <gasps> Rooster! You are actually reacting! Oh my gosh! Rooster, look! Ah, this is awesome! Okay, it does seem like they're happy to have a little social group. That was totally worth it! Totally worth it! Rooster, now you have now you have some friends. Um, okay, and I think you can actually like cycle through the dinos. Whoa, where are you two off to? I'm gonna need more feeders at this rate. How's the feeder doing? Okay, it's still got it's still got some stuff in it. Nice. This guy's just like I'm just gonna shove this Triceratops out of the way and eat. But I should probably put down multiple feeders so that that does not become a problem. For there's another ground herbivore feeder. We'll put that right over here. So it doesn't become a problem for our little ones. And hopefully the rangers will automatically restock because if they can't look with their own eyeballs and go, oh, look at that, they're eating all the leaves and refill it, then I'm gonna fire them and hire competent people. Thank you very much. Uh, and I think I'm gonna get just one more. I really like these little guys, okay? I'm gonna get like one more up and going, but I sort of wanna modify the genome if we can and maybe try Okay, I want. what would happen if we added the arid pattern, for instance? It doesn't look any different when you glance over here. 
Hmm. What about lifespan? So I could increase the lifespan. It's 50 years right now, and I could increase it to 61 if I added in more cardio strength, which sounds very interesting to me. Um, hmm. And then over here, this would decrease the viability as well. Would it increase my rating? But it would increase the rating. Interesting. What about if I increase the lifespan? Doesn't affect the rating whatsoever, but it would make the little one live longer. So, huh. Kind of interesting that the, the change in the skin would increase the rating. Let's try that out. I want to just try it out. I think that would be interesting to see. We would apply this one. And let's go ahead. The genome would be modified. And let's see what that would look like compared to the others. Also, we have some new fossils. Oh, there's no dinosaur DNA to extract on this one, unfortunately. So we'll sell that. Let's go ahead and extract the DNA on this guy. I would love to see this one roaming around soon too. Incubating a dinosaur with less than 100% genome can fail. The viability trait determines the chance of incubation. Aw, oh, man, it failed to hatch. Curses. <sighs> All right. Oh, look at that pattern. Okay, I definitely want to get some of the pattern modifications on these dinos. That is awesome. But my little one failed to hatch. Oh, I feel terrible. I feel terrible. Uh, but who else could we hatch right now? Let's double check. So incubation failed. We have to discard it, unfortunately. <sighs> you. Of course. All right. All right. I, I don't know about that. I don't know if I want to put a carnivore in yet because I don't trust my security team to achieve these things just yet. But, I don't know, we do have a ranger team. They might be able to take care of it as long as it's well fed. Will you at least tell me a little bit more about what I would need to expect? I would need to put the creation lab in a different area, if you ask me. Because I'm not going to release it straight into my my precious precious uh herbivore like fields that we've got going on over here so i would need a new creation lab oh and i need a new dig group don't i okay operations let's see ranger station can i build what only one expedition center may be con all per island what only one fossil center per island all right well why don't we think about upgrading those things then to the research building upgrades out of my way Let's see, fossil center, now you can hold more inventory space. Creation center would improve the success rate of our dinos. Ranger station, maybe I need to start sinking some into making sure that the Medicaid task would be accurate. Reload speed, schedule additional task, training simulators, tranquilize task. The tranquilize is what we would need to worry about if we have a carnivore go loose. So I think let's improve the accuracy with these guys so that I feel more comfortable with having a carnivore out and about. And I would also like to maybe research the alpine genes, but mm, I've got I've got other work we need to do. All right, so and can, where's the, the, the Hammond Center so that I can build multiple sections? Well, how do I move dinosaurs? That's a good question, actually. Looks like you get one creation bay, uh, and you can upgrade things, reaction and success and hatchery capacity. That's great. But how would I move a dinosaur that I did not want to end up in here to a different area? Probably by like making a new fence area and then tranquilizing the dinosaur and then moving it. That is my guess. So this is actually kind of like my hatching fields more than anything. And I'm going to have to reconsider how I've done all of this. I wish I had known that ahead of time. Uh, but let's come over here. Oh, no, there's the Hammond Creation Lab. Jeez, I am just blind. Uh, all right. Let's come over here. Oh, the viewing gallery. A window into the past that allows that increases dinosaur visibility it can be directly. Are you kidding me? This is what I needed all along. Wonderful! And then we can put a beautiful, beautiful viewing gallery right over here. All of our guests can come. Let's give them... I gave them a normal path. I should have given them a fancy path. Like, fancy. I want a fancy path here. How dare you just be a mishmash of paths now? I refuse... Or, ugh, whatever. Whatever. I'll deal with you later. Uh, but now we've got that being built. Let's make sure that I've got... 
power nearby buildings. It's just outside of range, isn't it? So I guess I have to have this like ugly little thing over here, purses. Uh, and then we need to make sure it's connected. There we go. Well, it's kind of ugly. So eh, eh. get some get some trees in there. Get some get these shrubs in here for crying out loud. Put some trees in here so I don't have to stare at the ugly power pylon thing. Curses. All right, whatever. All right, there we go. Yay! I think all right. <laughs> that this is entertainment. Okay, so now they can actually see the dinosaurs they came to see. Fantastic. <clears throat> Acquire 50% oh, genome. I think I already got that guy though, but we would unlock the Draco Rax. I've got some cool stuff. I need help uh, come be a part of the winning team. A Creators, uh, Creators would make a fine attraction. The first step is to acquire 50% of the genome for this dinosaur. Am I currently working on a different mission? I am not, and I agree with him, is the thing. It would make a good one. Oh, what? Dinosaur visibility. Guests to come to your park to see prehistoric life up close. I'm all about the show, and with these dinosaurs, we have one unlike any other planet. Theme parks rely on drawing people in. Of course, what is more attractive than a new dinosaur? Well, me, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, what I'm saying is let's get fresh dinos in the hopper. All right, all right, all right. He's got a point. The man keeps his eye on the ball. You think that you, I would be distracted with the ferns and with the dinosaurs and with the waterfalls. And he is just like on top of it with like, look, people will get used to anything. They could ride roller coasters. They could fly to the other side of the planet. They can talk to people on the other side of the planet in seconds and nobody cares anymore. So, all right, you, your guests want to get up close and personal. The thing is they can't. Construct facilities to increase visibility and keep a guest on the right side of the safety fence. All right, so apparently y'all will just tell me about this after I find it out for myself. So I need to dig around and everything a bit more. Uh, ensure that your dinosaurs can be viewed by guests will improve your facility rating. Nice. Use a combination of viewing galleries, viewing platforms, monorails, and gyrospheres to cover your enclosures. Got it. Man, the gyrospheres would be kind of fun. Uh, no wonder they were complaining they couldn't see anything. But here is the ability to go ahead and see some of the hatching fields that I have created. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'll go ahead and like name it. We'll call this the hatching fields one. Uh, oh, look at all these people. Holy days. They all wanted to see the dinos. They just couldn't. I wish there was like a more ways that I could decorate around here. That's kind of a huge pity. I'm so used to being able to like smack down all sorts of decorations uh, in Zoo Tycoon 2. Uh, what's this? Time for an upgrade. Apply a Ranger 1 accuracy. Security isn't always clean or easy, but it's necessary. So look over this contract. Okay, okay. So people are like hounding me left and right, waving contracts in my face while I'm trying to build. But I agree, applying a Ranger 1 accuracy upgrade to a Ranger station would be a good idea. That's a normal contract. It's gonna make everybody cranky, but I, I do think that it's a good idea. So ugh. do I have an expedition team going out? <laughs> this is so cool. There's just so much to keep track of. All right. Expedition team, let's make sure that we are staying on top of it. Okay, research complete. So the ACU accuracy has gone up. Uh, how is this commonly found? Are we depleted right now? A little bit. We might... What happens once I deplete my dig sites? Are they going to be permanently depleted? That would really suck. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's come up here. Because I think we're pretty close to being able to get that guy out. Uh, I think I need to have another viewing platform and that was actually under enclosures. I would have thought that was like a guest thing to be honest, but I guess it's not. So that would cover this zone. All right, let's go ahead and build it. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm getting to the power part of things. All right, and again, oh, it's so ugly. This is supposed to be a beautiful, beautiful place where people can ponder the amazingness of, of the natural world and history. And instead, they're cutting down all my trees. Ooh, that's a nice path, though. They're cutting down all my trees and making me stare at these power lines. Get some trees in here. Get... Put my trees back! Put my trees back! Oh, birds! Nobody told me this was a bird brush! Now it's even better than ever. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to put a couple trees at the back over here just because I can. I love trees. All right, there we go. 
So now this is getting built and this should increase the visibility even more. And this has got me feeling kind of optimistic. So I sort of want to, let's come on, come on in. Let's modify that genome again. Give everybody something to see, why don't we? Uh, we have now applied the, yeah, we've applied this genome for the arid pattern. And we'll come back over here. It is, it is indeed modified. And let's try to incubate another one. Maybe we'll have better luck this time. All right, so hopefully the guests will be happier now that they can see two sides a little bit better. And there we go. They've got nice, big, beautiful paths. No power. Are we low on power? Do I have too many things? I think I need to upgrade my power station. So how on earth do I do that? Over here, small power station. Whoa. Again, until I stumble on everything on my own, they don't tell me how to work on it. Hello, Owen. Ah, I'm glad you're committed to dinosaurs. We don't have raptors yet. Yes, I know about blue. Uh, okay, nice to meet you too. Yeah, we're not having a special relationship, dude. I'm, I'm with somebody, okay? Power stations provide power to the island. Substations distribute power to nearby buildings. Ensure substations are connected using pylons. Power is something we cannot ignore when it comes to our operations. Without power, uh, we, well, we don't have any power. Yes, Owen. Uh, we also <laughs> would let all the dinosaurs escape and people would like starve and it would be very bad. So let's go ahead and see. Can I upgrade this? Okay, I need to get improved output on my power then. All right, back into the control room. Everybody out of my way. Stop waving your contracts in my face and let me focus for a second. Improved output coming on up. There we go. And what was the other thing I needed to focus on? Was it, okay, where are my contracts again? Contracts, time for an upgrade. Ranger accuracy one to the ranger station. All right, power outlet. Yes, each building requires an amount of power. This is increased whenever upgrades are added. Uh, upgrade existing or build additional power stations to improve overall output. I think upgrading the current one is probably a good idea. We want to extract, uh, I would like a new contract for my science lady pretty soon, to be honest. Can I get a new contract for my science lady? Please? There we go! Use the expedition center to unearth a small or medium herbivore fossil. Nice! I will accept that lady because I want to make you happy. Uh, don't let this opportunity pass you by. For what, my dear? All right, uh, let's go ahead and... Partially depleted, but let's keep going on this area. I've got some silver to sell. And we have got some more of roosters, people. Good, I already completed the science, uh, the science ability too. We've got more of roosters, people. And the low quality, I think what I'll start doing is I'll sell the low quality. Because uh, we don't really want to waste our time. It turns out each fossil specimen has different quality levels. So I'll extract on high quality, sell on low quality, and a disease! No! We've got a disease! Quick, where's my rangers? Get over here, buddy. Alright, you need to come and medicate, th medicate the new rooster. I believe the new rooster is definitely in trouble. So they should be over here soon. Are you? Yeah, you're a new rooster! Hi, oh, look at you. You've got a common cold, but you look awesome. Check that out. So this is the new rooster. Hopefully uh, the new rooster won't be sick much longer, but I love it. I love it. It's got alpine patterning. How is that different compared to our other ones? Okay, so this is rooster rooster, or maybe that wasn't new rooster. Where's new rooster? Oh, I haven't let it out yet. So that's actually rooster two. Okay, so what should I name you, my dear? Oh. <laughs> you can see the medication dart. There you go. Now you're you're fine, buddy. We'll have to really be careful with the big groups where we're gonna have many of the same kind of dino involved. Uh, and let me see if I can actually upgrade the output now because that's gonna be a little bit important. No, not done? All right, who's not doing their stuff over here? I just, I, I was saying, oh, less than a minute remaining and then we'll be able to have increased output on our stations. That would be pretty good. Woo, and now we're making some really good money. That's much better. And the science group is happier with me. Fantastic. Let's release our newest. Slowly but surely. <gasps> I love you! You are green and glorious! 
Oh my gosh, look, and your people are coming to greet you. They're like, what is up with her? She looks so different. You're so cool. You are so cool. I love your look. Oh my gosh, look at the other two have come. Oh, this is fantastic. We've got a whole little meeting going on over here. Do you see this? This is awesome. And the Triceratops could care less. Stop bothering me, finances. What, am I even gonna call you? I don't know, but you're you're beautiful and I love you. I love your look and I love that now they're all hanging out together. Like off they go. Off they go in a little line. I love you all. Oh, uh, I love anything related to birds, which would include dinosaurs, of course. All right, so fossils, we're gonna go ahead and sell that one. High quality one will extract, uh, high quality one will extract. Might as well just go ahead and get to like 100 on that. And let's finish up by diving back in. I've been trying, we'll, go, we'll focus on the Horseshoe Canyon formation to try to get a new herbivore up and going. And then I really do need to get the carnivore up and going to you, but let's upgrade our power station one thing at a time. We're going to improve the output of our power station. Boom. Uh, hopefully improving it in both areas. Yeah, improving it in both areas will help. So there we go. All right, power station up and going, which means we have enough power for our areas. Guests are slowly but surely improving our rating of our park. We have great welfare. We have some good food. Uh, fun is going up a little bit. So we might want to focus on some of the other aspects too. And it looks like once we get to a three-star rating, we will unlock an entirely new island, which would be really, really fun. So this is going well, if you ask me very much going well and we need to have a commercial park by getting to the point where we feel comfortable incubating this guy yeah we're gonna build an entirely new section so that i have no risk for my beloved little rooster pack uh, i love this my little rooster flock is fantastic so i think we'll go ahead and probably put our carnivore down over here literally right next to the ranger station just in case and we'll work on that next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.